In this video, we can discuss about pharmacology of sedatives and hypnotics. Let's start the topic with the definition of sedatives and hypnotics. Sedatives are the drugs which will reduce the excitement and calm the person without inducing sleep. And hypnotics are the drugs which will produce the sleep resembling normal sleep which are mainly used to treat the insomnia. So the main difference is sedatives will produce a reduction in the excitement and it will calm the person without inducing sleep and hypnotics will produce the sleep which is resembling the normal sleep of an individual. Now coming to the classification of hypnotics and sedatives. This is mainly classified into four benzodiazepine, barbiturate, non-benzodiazepine and other CNS drugs or other CNS depressants. Benzodiazepine is again classified into hypnotics which will produce the sleep, anti-anxiety which will reduce the anxiety and anti-convulsants which are used for the treatment of epilepsy to reduce the convulsions. Examples for hypnotics are diazepam, fluorazepam, nitrazepam, alprazolam, temazepam, triazolam and example for anti-anxiety benzodiazepines are diazepam, chlordiazepoxide, oxaxepam, lorazepam and alprazolam and example for anti-convulsants diazepam, lorazepam, clonazepam and clobaza. Now barbiturates are again classified into long acting, short acting and ultra short acting. Phenobarbitone is the example for long acting barbiturates, butobarbitone and pendobarbitone for short acting and thiopendone and methoxetone are example for sh ultra short acting barbiturates. Example for non benzodiazepine sedatives and hypnotics are soplicone, esoplicone, solpidome and saliplone. Now other CNS depressant like chloral hydrate, triclophos, paraldehyde, glutathimide, methaquinolone, mepropamate, promethazine, chlorpromazine, amitriptyline and morphine. So this is the classification of sedative and hypnotics. Now before going to the mechanism of action of sedative and hypnotics. Let us see what are the different neurotransmitter which are present in the CNS. There are two type of neurotransmitter inhibitory neurotransmitter and stimulatory neurotransmitter. Examples of the inhibitory neurotransmitters are GABA, glycine and dopamine. So whenever this neurotransmitter get activated in CNS it will produce an inhibitory effect in the CNS and it will depress the CNS. Now example for stimulatory or excitatory neurotransmitter is glutamate and aspartate. So this will produce a stimulatory effect in the CNS and it will produce CNS stimulation. Now another some uh, neurotransmitter which are present in the CNS are acetylcholine, noradrenaline and serotonin or 5-hydroxytryptamine which will mediate both inhibitory as well as excitatory effect. Now coming to the first class of drug that is barbiturates. Let us see what is the mechanism of action of barbiturates. So barbiturates will bind with GABA a receptor chlorine channel macromolecule complex at allosteric site spe specifically alpha or beta subunit. Thereby it will facilitate GABA action and thereby it will increase the duration of chlorine channel opening. So by this increasing chlorine channel opening time it will leads to a membrane hyperpolarization and which will leads to a CNS depression. So that is the mechanism of action of barbiturates. At high dose Barbiturates will directly increase chlorine ion through chlorine channel opening and also it will depress glutamate induced neuronal depolarization through AMPA receptor that is alpha amino 3 hydroxy 5 methyl isoxy propionic acid receptor 
and also it will inhibit calcium dependent release of neurotransmitter it also act at picrotoxin site at very high dose or at anesthetic dose it will depress voltage gated sodium and potassium channels so that is the mechanism of action it will bind with the GABA A receptor chlorine channel macromolecule complex at alpha and beta subunit and thereby it will facilitate GABA action and it will increase the duration of chlorine channel opening and thereby it will produce hyperpolarization and finally it will lead to CNS depression. So that is the mechanism of action. Now there are different subunit in uh, GABA receptor complex there are alpha 2 alpha 2 beta and 2 gamma and this barbiturates will bind with the uh, site which are present in the alpha or beta subunit so that is the mechanism of action of barbiturates now let's see what are the actions of barbiturates in cns it will produce dose dependent effect like from sedation to sleep to anesthesia and finally to coma so as the dose increases it may reach up to coma and in respiratory system it will depressed by relatively higher dose of barbiturates now in cardiovascular system at hypnotic dose it will produce a slight decreasing blood pressure as well as heart rate in skeletal muscle hypnotic dose have little effect but anesthetic dose will reduce the muscle contraction in smooth muscles like in GIT the tone and motility of bowel is decreased slightly by hypnotic dose and in renal system barbiturates will reduce the urine flow by decreasing BP blood pressure as well as by increasing anti-diuretic hormone release. So this is, these are the different actions of barbiturates. Now what are the adverse drug reactions of barbiturates? There is a more hangover. So whenever the drug has uh, administered, he, uh, the patient may feel hangover always he will feel sleepy now there are there will be an over excitement like paradoxismal excitement then another one important area is porphyria this is the abnormal metabolism of blood pigment hemoglobin then idiosyncrasy hypersensitivity reaction like rashes swelling eyelid and lips then another one important area is tolerance and dependence and this is not effective in pain this can be only used as an sedative as well as hypnotic and it have a narrow therapeutic index which means the uh, therapeutic window means the difference between the concentration of maximum safe concentration and minimum effective concentration is very very low so adjustment of dose is very very uh, uh, required in case of barbiturates this is the narrow therapeutic index drug drug effect minimum effective concentration minimum effective concentration drug drug effect produce maximum safe concentration toxicity concentration gap therapeutic index gap barbiturates case dose Precious item selected under Uru Dragana barbiturates and one another. The hangover, Uru the Vosan Kaicha and Damata, the Vosan the Nadin effective and down. Then tolerance and dependence. Kaichu Anya, we into higher dose, other illa the pinna or come where at the easy little effective of produce him in the Ladana barbiturates and adverse drug reaction and one. Okay. Now, what are the drug interactions of barbiturates? It will increase the plasma concentration. Uh, sodium valproate will increase the plasma concentration of phenobarbitone by the protein displacement reaction and it will produce additive effect with other CNS depressant like alcohol, antihistamines and opioids. So already in uh, the drug alcoholics insomnia treat barbiturates excess CNS depression uh, in case of uh, barbiturates and uh, phenobarbitone will decrease the absorption of griseofulvin from the gastrointestinal tract and this is an enzyme inducers especially 
uh, glucuronyl transferase enzyme so thereby it will increase the metabolism and it will reduce the effectiveness of many drugs like warfarin steroids including contraceptive tolbutamide griseofulvin chloramphenicol and theophylline so if a person is treating with this barbiturate for insomnia he is taking any kind of this drugs the effect of this drugs will get reduced theophylline is an or uh, asthma uh, like use in a drug gun apo adilul asthma il adinde effect koreyanulla chance undu adu pole thana tolbutamide nu parayunnathu oru anti diabetic oral anti diabetic aanu appo adinde effect koreyanulla chance undu contraceptive pills kaikkina aalkar anengil adinde contraceptive failure undavanulla chance gal okkunde so these are the different drug interactions of uh, barbiturates now let's see what are the uses of barbiturates like phenobarbiturate this is used as an hypnotics to induce the sleep used as an sedative to uh, calm the patient now used as an anti convulsant to treat uh, convulsion so to prevent the convulsions in uh, epilepsy and it is used as an pre anesthetic medication for uh, for the pleasant and easy use of anesthetics uh, for the general anesthesia procedure for the major surgery and this can be used for the neonatal jaundice uh, and it can be used when uh, benzodiazepine drug fail so these are the different uses appo idile main aayitt onnu pre anesthetic medication le use cheyunnundu adu pole thana anti convulsant action undu sedative and hypnotic action neonatal jaundice cheriya kuttigalu manjapitta undavuna samayathu sadharana gathiyile ee barbiturates phenobarbiton prefer cheyarundu adinde ബിൽറൂബിന്റെ എക്സ്ക്രീഷൻ കൂട്ടാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ടാണ് മെയിൻ ആയിട്ട് അതിന്റെ എഫക്ട് എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് ഓക്കെ സോ ദീസ് ആർ ദ ഡിഫറെന്റ് യൂസസ് ഓഫ് ബാർബിച്ചുറേറ്റ